Lincoln in the House Divided speech seems to allege some sort of a conspiracy. And I say some sort because he doesn't say conspiracy. Well, what does Lincoln say? Let's look at his words. He raises a, a prospect and he says, we shall lie down pleasantly dreaming that the people of Missouri, this is a border state, Missouri, are on the verge of making their state free and we shall awake to the reality instead that the Supreme Court has made Illinois a slave state. All right, this um, requires a little bit of unpacking here because let's remember that under the terms of the Missouri Compromise, all the states north of the Mason-Dixon line are free states. That is decided by the Missouri Compromise itself. All the states south of the Mason-Dixon line are not necessarily slave states, but they can be. So you do have popular sovereignty. You do have each state deciding for itself, but only south of the Mason-Dixon line. And here is Abraham Lincoln, who seems to be saying that, uh, that the effect uh, of popular sovereignty and the effect of Douglas and the effect of what is happening in the country is... Um, not only to grant sovereignty or popular sovereignty south of the Mason-Dixon line, but and not only to give the northern states the option of having slavery, because presumably states like New York and Boston, I mean Massachusetts and Illinois, have no interest in becoming slave states. So even if you left it up to the people, they're not going to vote for slavery. But Lincoln is implying that they might get slavery nonetheless. In other words, Lincoln is raising the very shocking idea that it could be that Illinois, a Midwestern state north of the Mason-Dixon line, might become a slave state.